guys so today I want to talk to you about my angel red pomegranate I love this pomegranate I've had it for about the last five years and it's about time to harvest some of the fruit I had two of them last week they were delicious we usually make it a tradition that um, by September 2nd which is my daughter's birthday we harvest the biggest pomegranate and we eat it so it was very delicious. I did not get an opportunity to make a video because it happened to be the day, the weekend that we were moving, so there was a lot going on. But there is a few other pomegranates on this plan that are ready to go, so I want to cut them off today and show you guys what they look like. I've had this in a huge pot. I don't know if you can see it there. I've had it in a huge pot for about five years. It's thriving. It's huge. It had about and fruit this um, this season um, it would have had more but it was very windy and the weather kept changing between cold and hot so a lot of the flowers didn't retain but when it was flowering it was full of blooms I mean it was covered in blooms I'm gonna see if I have a picture to add to this video so you guys can see all the blooms that this pomegranate bush had and I want to show you the fruit so let's go and do that so here it is okay we're gonna take the biggest fruit that I can find because I'm going out of town and I want to make sure that I harvest the fruit and actually enjoy it I don't want to come back and find it on the ground so let's see I found this this one right here is like as big as my hand see that and I'm gonna cut it open so you guys can see what it looks like inside now I can't find my, whoop, it fell. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get that afterwards. Um, I have this one here. It's also as big as my hand and I am going to harvest that as well because if I need to, I will take it for my road trip and it's gonna be delicious. There's another one. Let's see if I can find any more. Here's another one. Can you see that? Now that one looks like it still has a little bit of growing. I think it'll make it over the next four days I'm going to be gone. So I'm going to leave that on there. We already took a few of them off. And a few of them fell off in the move. So I was pretty bummed about that. So for now, I think it's just those two that I have ready to go. This one and let's get the other one. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is super excited my daughter loves these she looks forward to them to have it, harvest them all the time on her birthday so here we go guys let's go to the kitchen so you guys can see what these look like back ready to cut this open so you guys can see what it looks like this is an angel red pomegranate like I mentioned I've had it for five years in the same pot um, last this spring that just happened I actually took it out cut some roots off and put some new soil with um, some warm casting so that way it can continue to drive. That may have been one of the reasons why some of the flowers fell off and they didn't retain which is fine because I still got a few fruit and I know that next season I will get tons of new fruit because it has new um, nourishment inside the soil and I put green um, warm castings to continue to feed the plant. So it's okay if I didn't harvest, had a big harvest this um, this season, but I know I will get a bigger harvest next season. So this is what it looks like. See that? It's beautiful and it's super red. I mean, look at that. I wish I had a lipstick this red. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. So I'm going to cut it open so you guys can see what it looks like inside. Okay, now you would expect it to be super red but it's actually not see that the one i cut open last time had a lot more seeds than this one but this is what the grains look like they're actually really sweet look at that super super sweet you might not think so because of how white these are, but they are actually super sweet. Mm. Love these. Yeah. 
if I can grow like 10 of these bushes, I would totally do it because these are so worth it. The only thing with pomegranate is they grow really big. They are really bushy. So you do kind of need a bigger space for a pomegranate. I've been able to contain this one in a big like 50 gallon pot. Um, so therefore, it was able to get somewhat big, but if I put it in the ground, it's going to get really big and I don't have the space for it. So therefore, I am going to continue to keep it in the pot and continue to feed it, continue to repot it, take it out, put new soil and put it in the same pot. That way it can continue to thrive, continues to get the uh, nutrition that it needs. And I always fertilize it with a good balanced fertilizer. And this is what I get. Super good. I love pomegranate. It's one of my favorite fruit. I mean, if you go to the store for one of these, you're going to pay like, I've seen it up to $5. It's ridiculous. So obviously I don't buy them all the time. So it's really a treat to have this at home and be able to harvest them and enjoy them. And you know that they're organic because you haven't, you know, I don't put any chemicals in my plants. I make sure that nothing sprayed around my plants and it's kept clean look at this oh, whoa that just splashed me everywhere one little grain anyway so that is the angel red pomegranate um the seeds are not completely red but they are super sweet i love them i'm enjoying this a lot as you can see i'm gonna stop the video so i can completely finish eating this and enjoy the rest of it all right, guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in, down below. And share this video with someone who might be interested in growing a pomegranate. All right, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.